So we're kind of set up here. Um, I got the indicator on the back of the casting. Now this is a rough casting, so uh, I don't expect there to. It's not going to be like a smooth indicator uh, trip across that surface, but I want to get it more or less straight. So we're starting at zero on this end. Yeah, there's going to be undulations, but if I go to the other end, it should be pretty close. Okay, so... About 10 out. Now, how, which way do we have to go? So it has to go forward. So we're just going to... Okay. Now let's go back and see how close we are. Again, undulations. Okay, we are. I'm going to say that's probably good enough. Um, Again, it's really hard because it's a rough casting, but it looks pretty straight, and I think we should be good to go. Let's just tighten these. quite know how this is going to react. I don't use this milling machine that much. So let's try this out. was really nice. We're on uh, the last pass here. So, uh, what I, ooh, I don't want to move that. What I don't want is the fillet at the bottom. making that was making like over a hundred thousandths cut towards the end so now um, we have uh, this surface just skimmed to make it even with no fillet on the bottom and uh, now we really need to uh, try to machine it to size now I <coughs> I wanted to take an eighth of an, of an inch off, but uh, I might have to take a bit more because of this casting imperfection, but that should be okay. I, so now that I know the capability of this machine, because again, I don't use it very much, uh, because a lot of the times I can't fit my part in it. That's just the, what it comes down to. Uh, I am going to take a hundred thousandths cut so it should actually go pretty quick. Let's go back down to the bottom.
I'll bring you back when I'm getting to something interesting. cleanup cut off camera. Um, this is looking pretty good. I'm very impressed uh, with this machine. So right now we're at about half an inch. Um, so I don't want to make it any smaller than half an inch uh, just because everything else is half an inch on this part so we still have this casting imperfection here a little one here then we have some divots back here I'm gonna take the part out it's looking pretty good we'll drill some holes so when I took it off it was noticeably not straight um, so what I'm doing is I'm just fixing it this side back here is about 25 thou smaller than this side so now what I'm doing with my indicator as I'm indicating it such that this side is uh, back 25 thou so it's we're kinda tilted 25 thou this way so if I bring this up and sorry about the light in the background so let me uh... bring up oh, going the wrong way okay so we're moving up the end okay so we're about 5 thou I think that'll be good enough where you can't even notice it. So I'm just going to do another pass off camera and see if that fixes it. Alright, let's check this now. Okay, it's like 474, 474, 475. That's way better. Alright, now we can drill the holes. So now we're going to transfer these holes to the other casting. Um, this is kind of tricky because there's no, I kind of have to go off of a straight surface here if I want to get the cylinder straight. But I think it'll be easier to just make the drilled holes slightly oversized so I, this whole thing has a little bit of wiggle room. That way... I can adjust it to where I need it to be and tighten it up when it comes down to it. Right now, I'm just going to drill the half inch holes. Um, and then later on down the line, when I'm putting everything together, um, if this is giving me a problem, I'll just enlarge the holes on this piece. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the, as straight as I can. Now, I made this little transfer screw. Since I don't have any transfer screws half inch by 13, I made this. So... Um, we're going to screw this in, uh, it has two little flats on it where I can get a pair of needle nose in there. We're going to go all the way down, there it is. And I only made one because there's one thing I hate doing is doing things again. And I don't need to have two because all I need to do is nail down one and then I can put a bolt through and then put the uh, this in the other side and then nail that down. Okay, so it's gonna be about there. Let's move it down a little bit. So I double checked with the horizon the the two distances here to where this hole is. Uh, on the casting to where I want it to be and it does seem to check out pretty pretty good so I think we're going to be okay here um, you know worst comes to worst I make the holes a little bit oversized which I want to kind of do anyway so I can adjust it so let's see here
right, let's take the uh, little transfer screw out. I think this bolt is too long, but it could be used as a guide. Yeah, that looks really good. I'm happy with that. So now we got to put the little transfer thing in the other hole. Should rub off the marker. do it three times and then just as a double check let's see it's approximately 855 thou from that edge and that's exactly where it is on here and then from the other edge it's about let's see one inch and that's what it is from this edge. So, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to drill this one now. Okay, I just put them on and it is seriously a, like perfect. It is a perfect fit. There's like no play. Um, again, I don't know how actually straight it's going to hold the cylinder. Uh, but probably down the road, uh, I'm going to make the holes just a little bit bigger so I can adjust it. But it looks, it looks pretty good for now so uh, this is good I get to keep the cylinder off the ground where the surfaces can't get scratched up uh, I need to I need to cut these bolts because they're just a little bit too big so let me just see let me just make a mark okay so let's cut these bolts and then this will be done. So here it is. Finished product. Looking pretty good. Very happy with it. It mates really nicely here too. Happy with that. So that's going to be it for this part. This part is done. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.